For this video, I did a literature review on the syntactic cues that young children use in order to differentiate proper nouns from count nouns. I compared the findings from three papers on the subject with different methodologies to gain a more well-rounded view of how children actually learn this. One important distinction children must learn to make when learning to speak is the difference between proper and count nouns. Count nouns are used to refer to a class of items. If I say, this is a dog, the listener knows that this belongs to a class of similar items which are all called dog. They're generally marked with an article in English. Proper nouns, on the other hand, refer to one individual and are not marked by an article in English. If I were to say, this is Marley, the listener would not assume that all dogs are called Marleys, but rather that just the dog I'm showing them is called Marley. The first study I looked at was conducted by Katz, Baker, and McNamara in 1974. In this study, they tested 30 girls and 25 boys ranging from 17 to 24 months of age. They gave either a proper noun label like this is Zav or a count noun label like this is a Zav to either a doll or a block. In the doll condition, there were two dolls with different hair colors, with one receiving the label and the other referred to as the other one. The block condition was the same, with each block being a different color. They then had the children interact with the items, giving instructions like put Zav or put the Zav in the basket, and tracking how often the child chose the labeled item. Girls as young as 17 months old chose the labeled item significantly more often in the proper noun condition, while only a few of the oldest boys showed much of an effect at all. Additionally, the girls were far more likely to choose the labeled item in the doll condition, showing much less of a differentiation for the blocks when they were given proper noun labels. The next study I looked at was Gelman and Taylor's 1984 study. It had a similar design to Katz et al's, with the modifications of adding distractor items and making sure the children were shown items they didn't already have the names for as they were concerned that children might not want to assign a novel label to something they already had a name for. They showed 32 two-year-olds two animal type items and two block type items at the same time, and varied whether they labeled an animal or block, as well as whether they used a count or proper noun construction syntactically. So for example, they would point to an animal and say, this is Zav, or this is a Zav for the count noun conditions, in one condition and will point to a block and say this is Zav or a Zav in another. They then ask the children to select the labeled toy. With the animal type toys, they did show the distinction between the proper and count noun labels as in cats at all. With the blocks, they correctly selected the blocks when the count noun label was used, but the proper noun labels, they would often select one of the animals instead seemingly assigning the proper noun label to a specific animal rather than the block. The final study I looked at was by Hall, Lee, and Belanger in 2001. This was a series of six experiments with 144 toddlers ranging in age from 20 to 37 months. In the experiments, the children were shown a doll or a stuffed animal, which was then labeled with either a count noun like this is a zav or a proper noun a proper noun labeled like this is Zav. They then moved it to another location and put an identical item next to it in order to determine if they were generalizing the label to all items of that category or just perceiving the label to be referring to a specific feature like blonde hair. They asked the children to select one of the items as the referent by saying something like point to Zav or point to the Zav. Both genders selected the original reference significantly more often in the proper noun position by 24 months of age, but not before. The boys, however, needed a modified procedure where they interacted more with the items to reach the same level of performance as the girls, which shows that lack of focus was probably more of the problem than an actual inability to distinguish count from proper nouns. From these papers, it's evident that young children use the presence of an article in front of a label as a syntactic cue to determine whether the label is a count noun or a proper noun. Katz et al's study showed this as early as 17 months old in girls and 24 months in boys, while the other studies did not see this until 24 months for both genders. The reason for the gender difference in Katz et al's study could simply have been due to the procedure as when Hall et al. modified their procedure to increase interactivity, the boys showed this distinction the same age as the girls did, which indicates the boys simply might not have been very focused on the task in the original study. 
The studies also found that children are more likely to assume a proper noun label is referring to an individual object when that object is one that traditionally would receive a name, such as for animals or dolls, which to children represent people. With other objects like blocks, they were more likely to assume that it simply referred to a category, not showing the distinction between proper and count nouns when it was between two blocks, and picking an animal referent for proper nouns instead of the block when animal distractors were present. The second case shows that they do understand syntactically that a proper noun label is being used, they just have trouble associating it with something they don't think would have a label like that which shows that they are also relying on their knowledge of real-world objects to make judgments about labels and not just the syntax. Here are my references and